Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Neptune and welcome to another Golf Plus video where we're going over the absolutely major update that Golf Plus just posted. I'm super excited, dude. I cannot wait to go through all of this with you guys and let you know all the details of what's been going on and what's new in the game. But first, if you guys haven't enjoyed the content, if you're excited about the new updates, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe to the channel, it helps me a ton, and also consider becoming a channel member. You get early access to videos, all kinds of cool stuff, so uh, if you're interested in that, check it out. But we're going to hop right into it. First off, you can see there is some major visual upgrades. They changed some of the graphics. I think they've done it on all the courses. I'm here on the Alpine because it's one of my favorites, adjusted the contrast and stuff, and my goodness, this looks phenomenal the realism that they've added with this update is huge i can't wait to see where it's going to be able to go in the future with just an update like this still supporting the quest 2 and everything like that it, it's it's sick and uh this big update coming out right when the quest 3 came out I, i'm i might have to grab one just to see if it looks even better but there's a lot to go through we're gonna hop right into it uh first off the golf plus tour is actually live now so it, pretty much how it works is uh, you go in weekly tournaments. There's a couple different tiers of skill level. I don't know if the leaderboard will show it. Okay, here we go. So the highest tier is diamond. You got gold three, gold two, gold one, silver, and bronze. Um, it's gonna you're gonna be able to play in tournaments week over week, and it's gonna how you do in those tournaments is gonna adjust where you are at in those rankings. And uh, yeah, I mean, you can play in the tournaments, you don't have to, but it's all going to affect your rankings. Uh, and you can see where you stand worldwide compared to everybody else, which is super cool. I'm so excited that they're doing something like this in Golf Plus and adding these tournaments. And it's going to be weekly things. It's just going to be super, super sick. Um, but yeah, tournaments start on Thursday and they run all the way through Wednesday, I believe. So yeah, six days, nine hours left on this first one on Pebble Beach. I'm excited. I'm going to have to start grinding a little bit, see how we do, um, and overall, just have a good time. I'm, I'm pumped about that. I can't wait to see what all they're going to be able to do with the, the uh, Golf Plus Tour. There's, I, I can't even think of how many things that they can do on with it. It's like unlimited amount of content and stuff could come from it potentially, which I'm super excited for. Um, but yeah, the course graphics and colors up great. Changed everything end to end to make it look more realistic and... Dude, it looks phenomenal. I can't get over this. It's going to be so sick um, to play on. I'm pumped. Uh, also, next big thing that they went over is the physics in the game. So the way that clubs feel, the way that they uh, track and everything, they completely changed that. Uh, it's an experimental feature. So you're going to go here in settings. And I believe... Yeah, so it, if you go to the game, the very top one, scroll all the way down. There's physics... Physics V2, it's experimental. So uh, we're going to see how that goes. We're going to try it out here in just a second. But they took, um, a, they built a new physics engine. They took 200,000 swings of real golf balls uh, hit on simulators and brought that shot control and the shaping and all that stuff into golf plus, which is crazy. The way that they're able to do that blows my mind. I don't know how they did it, but they did. And I'm excited about it. I'm here. Okay. We're going to have a good time with it. Um, there's going to be, there's better progression in novice and amateur, um, so, which keeps the assistant, but it does reduce the shop, shot shapes and stuff like that, um, and then only novice has the guides now, so you aren't going to see those on amateur, um, like you did before. Uh, another big feature that they did, so if you're stuck behind, like, a structure, um, and something like that, and you don't have a shot to the pin, they do allow you to take a free drop. Um, oh wait, I don't know if it's a free drop. It might be. I don't know. We're going to have to test that out and see uh, when we get into one of those sticky situations what actually happens. But, you know, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll get in that situation very quickly. Um, also, another thing that I'm super excited about, there is a new green speed called Very Fast. So, it's in between. They took away Slow. I don't know anybody who really played on Slow. Um, I think a lot of people played on Fast, but... Uh, it's now medium, fast, very fast, and pro. It's right in between. Um, so we're going to have to test that out and see how it feels, you know. Lots of changes coming our way, and I'm excited to see how it does and uh, see how it challenges us. I Very fast sounds like the perfect the perfect split for uh, how, I wanna, how I like to putt. 
and I think it's going to be cool to see that in tournament conditions. Um, you can now customize your golf clubs and stuff on non-handicap uh, rounds. You can change it in the middle of it. Like I'm started, I'm in a round right now. I can change these however I want, whenever I want, which is cool. But still, during handicap rounds, you cannot change them. So just keep an eye out for that. Um, and uh, unfortunately, last but honestly, probably the most sad, Pro Pet has officially been taken away from the game. It stinks. It was such a fun game mode. Uh, I hope they do something like that in the future or potentially, you know, bring like custom maps or something and we can make like custom putting maps or whatnot. But, you know, we'll see what happens. We're going to play a few holes just to see if we can feel the new physics, see how we like them. I mean, it's Alpine. You know, we go in for the green. We always do. But uh, I want to feel the putting. I want to see how actually, you know what? Let's not. Let's not do this. Let's feel how the irons and stuff feel. I'm excited to see how these new physics feel and see if I could really get like a, uh, the ball flight looked completely different right there. That was super interesting. Five iron, 196. I hit it 213, which is actually a lot closer to what I hit in real life with my five. So that is interesting. Um, that ball flight looks super cool. I really liked it. I don't know if it was like the, the trail on the ball maybe changed or what it was, but that felt great. Um, yeah, that ball flight just looks completely different. That's kind of crazy. Oh, I got some spin on my pitching wedge too. Did they take away? No, they didn't. I think they just changed with the coloring change and stuff. You can't see like the line of the uh slope as much but you can see the the white lines a lot more which i personally kind of like but you know we'll see all right we're on very fast we're gonna send this and see how it goes feel the putting oh yeah that feels nice man that feels nice it's a it's a good mix it, it felt like a good mix we're gonna have to play a little bit more just to see you know but uh i'm curious Oh, so there's no there's no power meter with these new physics, it looks like, which is interesting. 127. I'm going to see if I can. I'm just this is just a test. I'm going to see if I can swing really hard and see if it can go like to 120. We'll see. Like I wasn't I wasn't trying to aim there or anything. I was just swinging hard. I got it to go 117. So, you know, that's kind of interesting. It does look like that kind of worked, to be honest. Oh, oh yeah, I don't have that 50%. I don't have that 50% swing anymore on my lob, which like I normally do. So that's going to take some getting used to. The shadows and stuff look so much better. Wow. Being able to see that like on the greens. I feel like before it just was like a blank canvas. It was just a bright green green. And being able to see this and play on like... It's the, it's the right shadows and everything for the lighting that we're in, which is super cool. Okay, let's see how this feels. That, I mean, honestly, I feel like I'm going to have to play more with it. Okay. Yeah, everything feels perfect. I mean, you know, feels great. Feels great. Um, but yeah, this is going to be interesting not having a shot meter anymore. I think that it's not there unless I'm missing a setting or something, but I think that that is gone now. So we're just going to have to see what happens. Man, it feels so good, guys. It really does. I'm not just saying that. Um, all right, 55 yards goes 80 yards. Let's see if we can do this is going to be hard to learn. Yeah, it's going to take some getting used to, this change. I, I think I still swung pretty hard there. That one was on me. I can't even blame it on anybody. That was on me. See if it hits those ridges and stuff and keeps going just a little bit, like even very slowly. Because I feel like there was a big gap between pro greens where it would just like, that one would have flew off of the green 
and fast greens, it would have stopped on the slope. I feel like this was a good middle ground right there where it went like halfway. I think that was very good. All right, we're going to play this one last hole, par five. Be able to see a little bit of everything. See how it goes. But I'm liking it, guys. If you guys are excited about this update, let me know in the comments what you're most excited for. I'm excited for the Golf Plus Tour and the graphics updates. I mean, you know, I create content and stuff. Like, seeing these new graphics, phenomenal, man. Wow. I really can't get enough of it. It's awesome. How far did that go? Can I see how far that drive went? It looked like it went pretty far. Um, it looks like I'm getting more realistic to what my actual distances are, which is cool. So, uh, here we go. The ball flights just looked... That's the first thing that I noticed when I hit a ball, was that the ball flight looked different. All right, hey, we got in the bunker. Totally intentional. Totally intentional. Uh, 14 yards, let's see. Let's see if we can get up and down from here. Oh, yeah. That felt great. That felt great. We're going to have to do some more testing just to see how extensive this is. See how different everything feels. Um, the putting feels spot on. Yeah, that's that's perfect for me. That's perfect for me. <laughs> um, but, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you like the video. Once again, it means a ton to me. It helps me out a ton. Um, and, yeah, thank you for Golf Plus for putting out this amazing, amazing content month out uh over uh, can i talk thank you to golf plus for putting out this content month after month just continuously updating the game making an experience that we all love and just building on that it's it's incredible to see what they're doing over there and i can't wait to see what the future holds uh and what this game's able to do but thank you so much i will catch you guys in the next one enjoy the update